Hello, my name is Annie Mack and I'm here at the legendary BBC Maidenvale Studios. Today we have the incredible Bring Me The Horizon playing some tracks exclusively for you. Hi guys, welcome to Made of Bell. Hiya. Yeah. Um, so let's start by talking a bit about the album. I feel like with the, with the overall sound, you've just gone out and just said, right, we're just gonna we're just gonna take it. We're just gonna go big. Yeah. Was that conscious for you guys? Yeah, definitely. I think after Sam Paternal, just the band became so much more than we ever really envisioned. You know what I mean? And for the first time ever, it weren't like we were fighting. We weren't fighting to get on the radio. We weren't fighting to get the shows we wanted. We weren't fighting. You know, mm. it was the first time in our in our career where people were waiting for what we did next. And we've been saying that for years, we want to be the catchiest, heaviest band out there, you know what I mean? We don't want to be like, we want to, we'd rather be the heaviest thing you hear on the pop spectrum rather than the softest thing you hear in, in the metal, you know what I mean? Like we want, to, we want to be that band that people start liking but they don't know why, you know what I mean? And it gets them into the world of, of rock and, and metal and stuff. And let's talk about that decision to produce it yourselves because how important was it for you to just kind of go all in as a band and say, this is ours, we want to own it? Um, I guess it's been a long time coming. Every time we've worked with a producer, it's a compromise. You know what I mean? It's like we know what we want. We produce our own songs. We we don't need to go in the studio and someone to say change this, change this. Plus, the vibe's better when it's I think when it's just the band anyway. Yeah, yeah. You don't having random people around you, you don't really know. Mm. It just makes things feel a bit more feel a bit weird when it's when it's just the band and stuff. It's there's no stress. You know what I mean? We're yeah. we're motivated by ourselves we don't need anyone to get us up in the morning and force us to write music you know what i mean we love doing it let's hear a song shall we um can you tell us about happy song we wanted that like rage sound didn't we like rage against the machine sort of like just big um, big riffs and stuff it's so. kind of a weird mix up of things as well isn't it like some some stuff sounds a bit like 
oasis -y to me and then yeah the harmonies and stuff like that and we wanted something heavy but we didn't want to do the same heavy you've heard from yeah. us before you know what i mean and that riff were like <laughs> weeks in the making weren't it we yeah, went it's like 10 years in the making we've always tried to write that riff we always wanted like a a, a song too, you know, Blur song too. I think every band does, but we're like, we want like that mixed with Rage. We want it to be poppy, we still want it to be heavy. So it was like, it was the first heavy song we wrote on the record. And yeah. it, it was the first, the first one we're like, yeah, this is, this is, it kind of did set the, set the tone for the album. For me, it feels like the whole album is you looking back over your 10 years and taking everything that's happened to you as a band and throwing it into this album and making it a positive thing. Yeah, that's spot on, to be fair. I mean, the whole concept of the album is kind of making light out of darkness and stuff. And me going through rehab and drug addiction and stuff, it, it had to get that bad before it got this good. Mm. You know what I mean? If that never got, if we never went to the, I guess, the darkest place of, of for me anyway, it would have never got as good as it is. We'd have just carried on coasting and doing the same thing. Mm. 
and yeah it's all about rather than trying to ignore the darkness and i guess the the, the stuff is embracing it and, and dealing with it we don't acknowledge the stuff that's going on in our heads and by by not doing so it gets bigger and bigger um and and it's yeah i guess people don't want to have negative experience and stuff like that but mm -hmm. this 10 years of band's been such a journey from we've mm -hmm. experienced every single mm -hmm. up and down you know what i mean from our parents driving us to shows to like flying you know to, uh, around the world and we've gone every step you know what i mean we and we so we appreciate it so much and we've had we've been in situations where everyone hates us you know what i mean and and now we're in a situation where you know it feels like everyone loves us you know what i mean and so we're always having to try harder and harder we never went yeah we are we are great we're always we were always taking on board what people said about us we are the band as well because we went through years yeah. of people bottling us or like mm. yeah, boo it. like we've stick. played shows where people just give us stick and stuff so you kind of when you get through all that you appreciate how good it can be how was writing in leads mental <laughs> <laughs> pretty good a lot bigger than we were expecting it to be well we thought it was going to be good but it was yeah big big crowd mm. terrifying and when we got the offer for reading they said our oh, main support for metallica we were just like whoa yeah. we're gonna have to say yes obviously because we weren't even planning on doing festival this, uh, this year. year no yeah. and then the offer came in we were like well obviously we're gonna do it it was just too big an opportunity i think for us to like miss out on you know what i mean it's, it's like this next album can be like we can stay where we are or we can we can do something that can hopefully you know propel us into the big leagues i guess and i that's hope so yeah. i think so um Lee, Ollie Jordan, thank you so much. Cheers. It's so fun. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.
takes me now Darling, when I'm down Save me from myself Don't let me 